Hi, MuseCast. Hello, MuseCast, and welcome to a special edition of Eric Wednesday. Today's the day you've been waiting for. It's the Steady Cam episode. I'm not going to be behind the camera. That's going to be left up to my good buddy, Mike Jernt. Now, this whole Steady Cam idea is based on a website I found a couple years back by uh, Johnny Chung Lee. He came up with an idea of creating a 14 hour Steady Cam. There are several Steadicam how-tos on the web, but this one I like the best because of how it's built, how easily it's made, and the durability, which is a big thing. So let's check it out. He goes over everything that you're going to need on the website, so we're not going to take care of that here. Everything you can get, with the exception of the counterweight, you can get your local Home Depot, Menards, you know, any type of hardware store should have everything that you're going to need. I carry is the counterweight, which is just a two and a half pound barbell weight that you can pick up at Walmart or a local secondhand uh, exercise equipment store. So now that we know what we need to get, we have our shopping list. Let's go shopping. is your inverting bracket that will hold your camera. So your camera's gonna sit here on this part and it's basically gonna make a C shape. So what we've done is I've marked it here and I marked it here for the height that we're gonna want. So we're gonna get put in a vise to bend it. Aluminum bends very easily, but it's, stu it's sturdy enough that it will actually handle, it will be stable enough so that it can hold the weight of the camera and also will act as a little bit of a shock absorber so you can still maintain those steady shots. And this doesn't have to be exactly perfect, it just needs to be functional. So that's a good bend. Looks okay. Sweet. Let's do the other side. Safety first. I look like a dork, but I don't want any stuff in my eyes. So definitely pick up your pair pick up a pair. They're like ten bucks. But it's definitely worth it. Take a hacksaw and go to town. <laughs> So now I've, so what I'm doing is I'm taking, I'm taking a file, a metal file, this works pretty well, and I'm just kind of rounding off the cut so I don't cut myself when I'm using the camera. I've marked, uh, this is where the camera's going to sit, you're going to want the hole right about to there. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it needs to be pretty much in the same area so it, it, the steady cam and its counter bracket um, stay balanced. Uh, quarter inch uh, drill bit. Again, safety glasses on because you're drilling into metal. And so I have my mark. Start off slowly. Cleaning up a little bit. Any extraneous shards, it might be threads, it might be there. Inverting bracket is done. Woo! -hoo. Okay, it's a little bit trickier because it's harder to see, but uh, these are the end caps. Um, you have three of them, uh, one for each pipe, and uh, two of them you're going to have to drill holes in uh, to hold. Uh, one is going to hold the camera, and the other is going to hold the counterweight. So what you got to do is we have to drill through pretty much, try to get it as much in the center as possible. That is that is dead on. That's exactly what you that's what you're looking for. As we explained, we need to have the uh, the washer kind of taper a little bit. So that's what we're doing here. And what I've done is I've taken uh, an actual hammer. It's got like, this little ball thing. Pretty much holds the washer in place and of where I need to strike. And I basically just take the hammer, the other hammer, and just strike where I need to. So kind of like that is what you want 
And what this is going to do is we'll kind of start distribute the weight, bring it into the into the steady cam, so you're not like putting it as much stress on the camera connection point, which is that little small mount at the bottom of your camera. What you do is first off, you take the, uh, the inch and a half bolt. I put two locking washers. Uh, the directions say one. I put two. Um, does seem to work better. It seems to stabilize it a little bit better for me. Thread that through the hole, so it's sticking out like that. Woo! Um, then take another locking washer, put it like that, and that's the first point of it. Now it's going to look kind of crooked. It'll actually get fixed in tightening. Just tighten up the screw. Take your screwdriver and just do this. There. Much better. Might be a little off, but for our purposes, it'll work. And the wing nut's going to bring it right and bring it all the way. This is going to be loose because then the camera mounts right on top. And this will adjust the height. First of all, you take your bolt, put a washer at the end. Put that through the, uh, the hole of the weights. It's not going to flop once we put completely secure this down, but for right now it's going to be kind of a pain. So be aware that it's going to move around a little bit while we're setting this up. So then put another washer, um, one of the, another giant flange washers down to cover up, basically cover up the hole. And then take a, a locking washer, put that there, little guy, like that. Another locking washer inside here. Now this is this is gonna be very cramped quarters, so be aware it's gonna be a little tricky. Um, to just kind of hold. Basically, I'm grasping the nut inside uh, this guy and tightening this up. We basically wedged this washer, which is gonna stabilize the entire setup. Now, this is what your steady cam should look like once it's completed. You have two ways of holding it. You can either be close to your body. If you're closer to your body, you're not going to use as much of your muscles, but you're not going to have as much freedom of movement. Your legs are going to get in the way of the counterweight. If you extend it out a little bit, you're going to use a little bit more of your muscle because you've, you've furthered out your center of gravity. So you walk, pan, notice how I'm panning with my hip and not panning with my arms. I'm not doing this, cross the body, I'm using my full body to do a pan. Would you like me to go left or right? Uh, I go left. Would you like me to walk into the street or into a car? Neither. Oh, oh well then what fun are you? <laughs> so you hold it exactly the same, but be obviously mindful of where the heck you are. LCD screen out so you can see where the heck you're going. Shoe cam, actual shoes. All right. Footwear! Oh god, no! Run. I'm doing laps! Ladies and gentlemen, that is your $20 city cam. I'm Eric Steffens, and have a great week. Oh.